Hello, this is Hellbent again, and we are on to video three in creating our own smart auto clicker. So we're just going to continue on, and at the end of that last one, we had just entered in our message box, and we were going to do a test. So to do the test properly, what we're going to do is we're also going to have another message box up above it. And it doesn't really matter what this message box says because we're not going to actually be going to keep in it. So, so how about hello? It says hello if it's if it's good. Okay. So we're going to save, and then we are going to run. Okay. So I'm a little bit. Uh, it's been about half an hour or so since I did the last video, so I have to catch up a little bit. Um. Let me see where we are. Okay, so we're inside. If it doesn't equal null, it's going to test our window. Okay, okay, I got what I, we're going to be doing. So I think I already started it, but I'll start it again anyways. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press Control R, which gets my information. And now it stored this as my window. So if I go to another window, like this one here, and now if I press Control T, it's not the same window that I have stored as my target. So it should give us a message that says this is not our target window. So our, our auto clicker won't start unless we are on the right window. Okay, so this is perfect, works. Let's go back to our target window, which is this window, and I'll hit Control T again, and it says, hello. Okay, so we know that that works perfectly. We can get rid of this hello message box and we can continue on okay so we've just tested to make sure that we are in the right window and now what we want to do is start a loop and our loop is going to be up for all of our clicks and testing later on so we're just going to say loop drop down a line and then we're going to do an open and close french brace or curly brace whatever you want to call it <clears throat> And the first thing we're going to do when we come into this loop is we're going to check to make sure that we haven't pr pressed our stop hotkey. Because if we've set our hit, hit our stop hotkey, we don't want it to click. We want it to stop clicking. So we're going to say if stop equals equals 1, which is the value that we assign it if we press Y. Right, so if at any time we hit Control Y, it's going to change the value of stop to one, and if it does equal one, what we're going to do is we are going to change the value. I suppose, actually, no, we don't need to change it because as soon as we press Control T again it's automatically going to update its value back to zero. So when it comes to here, as long as I don't hit Y, it's not going to be one and it's not. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say break. And what this means is it's going to stop this loop, which will allow the script to continue running down to this return, which is basically stops it from running, doing from clicking anymore. So that's what we want it to do. Perfect. Okay, moving on. Now what we're going to do is check to see if that paused variable that we created. So right. Okay. Before we do that, at the very beginning of this tutorial, I had said that I may or may not include a link to a paste bin of this script. So a few hours ago, before I recorded, I had already created pretty much this exact. Thing. Maybe a couple of the variables are different, but essentially it's the exact same thing that I've created just now with you. And what I'm going to do is I am going to give you the link to that. So, okay, I'm not going to leave it on screen for long. So if you haven't been watching, you're not going to see this paste bin link. So you're going to have to watch the videos. You're going to have to learn how this auto clicker works in order to get this because if somebody makes a comment I'm going to remove it. Alright, so oops. 
Okay, so I'm going to give it about 10 seconds, pause the video, copy that down, and that is the link to this exact script, but it's already done. Okay. And if you don't know how to run it from that paste bin, in the first video in the description, I'm going to be linking to a video that explains how to run scripts. Okay, moving on. Um, let's see. If that... Okay, um, I think I'm going to pause and check now. Okay, so if, like I said, if our paused, we're going to check to make sure that it still equals zero. So if is paused equals equals zero, so we're making sure that it's still zero because later on we might change it. If we move our cursor out of the way, it's going to change it. So if it's paused, I mean if it's not paused, what we're going to do is we are going to send our click. So we're just going to type out C-L-I-C-K, comma, and then where are we going to click? Well, we assigned a location, so we have variables for those locations. So we're going to wrap percentage signs around our variables. So we have a target underscore X and we have a target underscore y so we're going to click our target location and what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a sleep command and for now i was thinking about now, if you go and get that auto clicker off of it and you try to run it, you're not going to, and don't continue watching the video, you're going to completely miss this part. And the, the part that I'm going to be adding near the end of the video that shows you how to speed up the clicker, this is going to show you how to slow it down, but not how to speed it up. Okay, so I was thinking of creating a variable that you could change up here, but as long as you're watching this video, and this script isn't that long. You should be able to find this location, which currently is line 33. So it's pretty easy to find it to change it. So the reason why sometimes you're going to want to have a delay is some applications, for example, this game right here, these buttons, when you click, it has its own up and down time. So there's a delay from when I press down until it's back up again and ready to be pressed down again. And if my clicker is pressing too fast, all it's going to be basically doing is, in essence, it's just going to be holding it down and never releasing it, right? So if I find that that's the case, sometimes slowing down my script or slowing down the auto clicker actually speeds it up. All right, so I'm going to put a little delay, just a, sh a short delay of um, 30 milliseconds. And the value that you put here is always in milliseconds. So, for example, if I put 1,000, that's one second. 10,000 would be 10 seconds. Um, but we just want a tiny fraction of a second. So we're going to do 30 one thousandths of a second so basically a not even the blink of an eye but it's enough it's it's enough that perhaps in an application like this where there is a period where it's lifting back up again before I can press down again um, I might need that so by adding this delay it'll actually by slowing it down it'll actually speed it up okay that's done. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to check to see if our cursor's moved. So it's going to send a click and then it's going to check to see if my cursor is in a new location. Okay. So the way we do that is we type out mouse get pos, which is mouse get position, and we're going to create a temp variable for our x. So we have temp x. And then we're going to do a comma, and we are going to do a temp y. And now what we're going to do is we are going to check 
to see to make sure that our temp x and our temp y equals our target location because if they don't equal our target location we're going to want to do something so we're going to say if they do not so if temp x does not so that's uh exclamation point equal does not equals our target x and no is it and or or I think or okay so or is the pipes I, I've heard people call it pipes I don't really know what its name is I don't usually describe to people hey uh, you know that key that looks like a straight up but basically it's a it's if you hold shift and press that all right so it's shift of that I've heard people call it pipes whatever it's the straight line so that's or this this gives us our or so we're checking to make sure if either one of these two things is different we're gonna change our variable so if temp X or our temp Y does not equal our target Y and then we can close that off and then we're going to open and close and inside what we're going to do is if they don't equal each other if either one of them is different in any way we're going to change that variable that we had created earlier is paused we're going to change it p a u okay we're going to change this to a value of 1 so it's no longer so if it loops back through it's going to come to this if statement and it doesn't equal one so we're not going to click all right instead what we're going to do is immediately okay that's it for the part three um we'll continue on and hopefully we'll be able to get through the rest of this clicker in the next video i really was hoping to keep this down to two videos but unfortunately explaining things takes a little bit of time so, you know, I want to, with these tutorials, I really want you to understand what we're doing, not just copy it. So, unfortunately, it takes extra time. So, I'll see you on the next video. And uh, if you've been liking these series, make sure you leave a like and uh, perhaps a comment. Um, maybe if you have some ideas for other videos, because it's, I don't really get anything out of these, doing these videos. Um, and... I'd like to know that people actually enjoy watching them. So if you enjoy watching it, make sure you leave a like so that way I continue making these kind of videos. And I'll see you in the next part.